Heck, when you read that, the, the, that God regretted something or he was sorry that he had made mankind, you can't project our definition onto those words, onto that text, because to do that would, would, would read like this. God made a mistake, and now he had to fix what he should have never done in the first place. And that's not it. See, in the Hebrew, like in this context, in, in this story, to regret something or to be sorry for something, it's not an apology as much as this, right? Even though I knew it would happen... It grieves me and saddens me to watch it happen. And it grieves me and saddens me because I know what comes next. God's looking at this, right? And the unavoidable suffering and consequences that will be attached to the free will decisions that my image bearers have made. And you, you understand this. P parents, you get this, right? If you're, a, if you're a coach or you're a boss or you're a supervisor, you understand when you have to deliver bad news or have to enforce the consequences of someone's bad decision or wrong behavior, here's what's going on in the back of your mind. I know what's about to happen in their life, and it's going to be painful. It's going to be confusing. They're going to get angry. They're going to have fear. They're not going to understand. And that's what God's doing right there, right? And I know it sounds cliche, but sometimes it really does hurt you more than the person that you have to deliver the consequences to. It breaks your heart, and that's what's going on with God in this scene. 